Hey guys, Mike Martin here. So today I'm just going to quickly run through and show you exactly how to use the job system inside Elite Simplify. Quite a few people don't know how to use this or how to get it all set up and working. So the first steps obviously would be to do something along the lines of adding contractors to your system. Okay, so so um, you add a contractor the same way. Click on the contractors tab, click add new, and then you fill in all the information regarding the contractor. Now I've pre-added a contractor in here. Some of the things you need to do is go over to contractor approved so that you can actually receive jobs from you. Industries and areas, so whatever areas they're based in and whatever industries they're gonna work in. So say he's a chiropractor and he wants to work in, and you want him to work within a 25 mile radius of say, Miami, Florida. There you go. Click save, he'll receive chiropractor jobs from you within a 25 mile radius of Miami, Florida. It really is as simple as that. So it works very similar to the other system. So when we go into the job system, there's two ways to add jobs to a system. You can click add new, as you can see we've got a job here that's been thinking. So you can click add new. In fact, let me go into the contractors first. Let me click on this contractor. And let me just check. So he's approved and he's all set up. Right, so there's a little tab here. See that? Right, you set how much if you right, so there's a few different ways of doing a, a, a job. So you can ever set it up so that a contractor gets a percentage of the job. Now if you set the default percentage in here, so say you're splitting the job 50-50 with him, put 50% in there, and whenever whenever you go over to your reports later, it's gonna show you exactly how much of the job he is owed, how much money you have to send him. Okay, now in some areas you have taxes and things like that to take into account before you do the splits. In that case, you probably need to do it yourself. However, on, in this situation, if you're splitting a job 60 40, 70 30, 50 50, you put that percentage in there and the reports tab will do the calculations for you each week. You can just go and have a look at it. Right, so sorry guys, I, did, I jumped ahead a little bit there. Right, so industries. So this guy's a locksmith and he does jobs within a 20 mile radius of M24 in Manchester. Okay, locksmith. Got a work schedule, we've got him on 24 hours a day, and docs and insurance. If not got any of that, because it's a fake contractor, right? So, let's say we wanted to add a job. There's two ways to add a job into the system, okay? For, first way is you go into your system, somebody phones up, and you add a job this way, all right? So, let's say Barry has phoned up for a job in M241 FN, yep. We'll choose that address there. Trade. We've got to choose locksmith because that's the only one he does. Let me just show you. So I'll choose locksmith. Job priority. High, low, needed at set time and date. Stick it as a high priority one. Estimated job date. We don't need to put that in, but you can. And job description. Needs to... His house. Pretty simple, okay. Main phone number. An alternate phone number and barry at barry.com we're going to use don't know if it's real right lead source you choose where it's come from as well so you can do that inside your system so you can it's come from a phone call it's come from thing you set up your own lead sources in the system click save and we're going to end up with a job inside the system okay so now let me go back over to the jobs tab just so you can see this first of all so you can see we've got a job and the status is open so if you go to your preferences you can decide what type of status is uh, to, to set these up as right but let's just click on there so basically we're now in a situation where this guy is 0.9 miles away from this locksmith here okay and we know his default percentage is 50% now we, he might say I'm not going to do that for 50% I want 70 all right, no probs. There's your seventy percent commission. So now the reports will work that out for him later, right? Then you assign this to him, and he will receive an email and a text message with the job, right? Once he's received an email and a text message with the job, he's got this inside of his login system, so he can then log in and fill in all the job details afterwards, job price, any taxes or anything like that can be all filled in here, and he can submit that to the system. So you can go in and say, okay, uh, Mike. Oh, it's me, Mike Martin did this job and he got this much money for the job once you've then signed the job off all right so you go into your job system once you've signed the job off and you've set the set the status so you see where it says it's been assigned so it changes see here job complete and approved right so you can have job complete job complete and approved and click update what that's now going to do is change the job status so what that, what that also does if I go into preferences 
and we go to job statuses okay so assigned if you have a look at this assigned you see these are not being ticked here consider job as complete consider job as paid okay now if we go back to the statuses and we click on here consider the job as complete consider job as paid so this is then going to add it to your report so now if I go back to the reports oh we didn't put any money in the job let's go back to the job one second guys we can edit it by clicking on this and then we click it was paid by cash but we can have slightly different types are already set up for you you can change them yourself in, in the system but we've already got a few set up so we're going to click submit right so now we know it's a 500 pound job I'll just make sure it's completed and approved now if we click on reports see we've got 510 pound today nope that's last week <laughs> that should be today right we've got a 500 pound job today the 13th of October 2020 okay now when you come into your other system here Mike Martin we can see that 30% total labor he gets 350 315 and we get 135 so you, you might have noticed straight away well that's only 450 pounds that is only 450 pounds because what he's done is he's taken this, this automatically takes his cost of his materials off for him as well so he's charged 500 pound for the job but 50 quids worth of parts are included in there so the system sets up and says right so he gets 70 percent of 315 you get 30 percent of 135 and he gets that so now we can see inside of this system very very easily exactly how much money is outstanding and how much is due for, from each of these individuals does that make sense i don't know why i'm asking you we're not on a webinar right <laughs> um submit a job via a form okay so also in addition to this if we go up to the lead system here and click on the form builder if you want a, if you've got a complicated job that you want to add onto the system which has got loads of different questions and answers and all that crazy stuff you go in and you see how this has got all different types of answers if we click edit you can have as many questions answers checkpoint boxes and stuff like that as you wanted if you go into the advanced I believe it is should details on this form be submitted to the job system in in jobs instead of leads if you switch that on you can create any type of form you want that you can in the other system and they'll automatically be submitted into the job system as opposed to the lead system so you can run a job system and a lead system simultaneously and just use different forms on different websites and the jobs will always go into the job system and your lead buyers can't see them and your leads will always go into your lead system and your contractors can't see them so you keep them separate they must have separate email addresses to be if you've got somebody who does leads and and contractors then they need two, two different logins um, okay so um, yeah well basically this is one of the models that, that we ran for many many years the job system was created before the lead system um, you've got a few different options on how you actually the types of, of, of setup for this so the different options for the types of setup is um, you can set up so that you you book a job and you take a percentage so you've just seen the way the system's set up to design to show you the reports and and and, and work out the percentages and stuff like that for you and you, what you're due on each individual job okay so you book a job and you take a percentage and the system works out of it alternatively you can set them all to that uh, they get a hundred percent and then what you do is you take a booking fee over the phone so hi um this is mike um today we're going to need a credit and debit card um um and a full address and postcode to, to book your appointment and then we'll send somebody out to you it works well on the emergency services as soon as you finish in the call you say okay we're going to take a 50 pound fee off your card immediately you pay the balance to the contractor then you can give the jobs away so that's a great way to give the jobs away okay so that's that's taking a booking fee over the phone um you can book a job and take a set fee 
So what you say is every time I send you a job, you go and do the job. You give me 25 quid, you give me 50 quid, you give me 100 quid, depending on the size of the jobs and types of jobs. So literally in that situation, you're only giving them jobs and they're paying you on a per job basis. You answer the phone and deal with that and they go out and do the jobs. Um, uh, you book a job and you send out your staff so if you get your own staff um, and I've done a video on this in the past and if you have a look you'll see that we've got actually people that have run this system to use and they're using the job system and they've run this system to run their taxi ranks okay so they can assign the jobs to different people I think he now uses the lead system for that and he sets all the lead prices to zero so that it doesn't cost them anything and it's just literally a case of the guys grab the jobs as fast as they can and you can use the um, you can use the reports obviously to figure out what your splits and what your pays and everything are as long as inside of your jobs you've been um, filling in this information and as you can see I did this information before and that's the one you seen earlier on okay so you set up your job system you add your contractors um, and then whenever a job comes in in their location they will automatically pop underneath pop up underneath it in fact can I unassign contractor click OK if I unassign the contractor, that means this guy here no longer gets the job. And as you can see, you'll have a list based on closest first. So whoever's the closest person to the job will show up first, and whoever's the furthest away um, will come all the way down here, big list. So you phone the top guy first, you want the job, blah, 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 yep, click assign, and he'll receive it. You can say that he's declining, and you'll get a notification saying that, and you can work your way down the system. Down the system. Um, Okay, guys, hope that helps. Um, sorry it's been such a, a, a bit of time to get this one out to you. We did find a little bug, so we had to fix that before I could do the video. All right, guys, thank you very much. Cheers, bye-bye.